Bambulik sam tam. U atas lek ame mi tu sen. Lek tu bu un ino naka u sebau dibla kor duk sini jam jam. Art history class yakin cak sim tu bu. Men, no poor men. So naive, forgetful, yet so beautiful. Before we get into this work of art, let me tell you, at the end of it, the spotlight will shine on you. You will be forced to introspect and confront some of your own truths. If that makes you uncomfortable, stop watching right now. But don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Hi, this is Vibhav Rajya from Art History Plus. We make videos on art. Thank you for all your support and to all the people who gave donations to help us make such content on Indian art and culture. Now, if you're still here, let's see what's happening here. How do you feel when you look at this painting? Uncomfortable, guilty, angry. Perhaps it speaks more to a version of you that you didn't think existed. A homophobe, a skeptic, a secretly right-wing misogynist. No, not you. Maybe someone you know who doubles up as a people pleaser. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Cuz this painting is all about you, the viewer. And like every iconic artwork, it asks questions. It's called Black Candy. I forgot my penis at home. I'll explain. The artist Me Too Sen here told me she loves men and finds them to be beautiful, delicate creatures. She feels pity for them, but with affection. It may not be obvious, but men like women have been put into boxes. They are forced to carry their penises with them at all times, not just physically, psychologically too. If you forget yours at home, you are a blurred entity, not a real man at all. No, isn't it? This is what makes macho men the most beautiful of them all, secretly sweet. innocent and delicate they carry their penis tightly locked on them so vulnerable and insecure that someone would steal it here yeah, you see different kinds of men on the left a very macho muscular man probably a wrestler is holding a beautiful bouquet of pink roses and offering them to another man on the outside though rough and tough like a tiger's skin on the inside beautiful and delicate as a rose <laughs> again Oh poor men. In the middle someone is doing what looks like yoga. And on the right we have two men making love connected by an umbilical cord. That's an intense relationship. Wow. But why? But look at it. Could they ever have the kind of relationship akin to that of a mother and child? You see the umbilical cord, right? Me too here has drawn two men having sex making love do you think they are in love a very fine blend of love you know right you've been in love it's the same thing love you feel it too right it's a pity that men have to contain their beautiful expressions of pleasure towards each other within the confines of their rooms the confines of this drawing locked up inside constantly wary and are afraid someone will find out what's happening in the center here is that a bird or a person or a yogi at a carnival one of his hands is dirty the bad hand don't ask it's an indian thing you have a good hand and a bad hand just trust me this bad hand is doing things it's not supposed to do like exploring pleasure in their own body like touching the walls of the box breaking them with a hammer brushing one's hair you see outside the box you're a hybrid entity you can be or do or have anything look the artist has written some words on paper and scratched them out she says she was always conscious of her incorrect pronunciation since pronunciations are a judge of character in india strange if you mispronounce your unworthy beneath below shame yeah the best gift the colonizers ever gave us in this department the artist has not made an effort to erase but instead has cancelled out the words 
to show transparently the errors she made what she thought of the error what she thought of herself and what she did eventually hmm sometimes i think this is what the artist me too sees when she observes men with her keen feminine gaze it's time she says to critically think about and observe the experiences of manhood masculinity and men perhaps real feminism has been about men actually and the boxes that they have been living in all along don't you think me too has achieved something really amazing you see there are real men macho men honest and true to who they are let them be will you her real work though is creating an inability for the onlooker to lie to themselves please subscribe to art history plus please like comment and guys seriously please share our videos and if you consider making a donation please write to us at arthistoryplus@gmail.com and we'll tell you how thank you